Hello everyone, welcome to TechTrade.com. In this video, we will learn some important aspects about transaction failure, recovery and the log which system maintains. Okay, so when a transaction is submitted to a database system, let's say this is a transaction and when I'm saying transaction, of course, it will have multiple operations. Okay, so let's say these are operations. Fine. And now when it is submitted to a database system, now this is responsibility of this database management system to execute all of this operation. Okay, mine will, I'm saying all. Okay, this is important, right? Because in any case, this data, database management system should not allow half of the operations to execute and half of the operations to bypass. Okay. As we know from the concept of uh, atomicity that a transaction has to execute its all operation or none of the operations okay so basically the transaction will execute or it will not be executed right there will not be a case when half of the operations of a transaction is executed right so this is the basic principle now there may be a case when this transaction is failed okay so let's say when the transaction was running its operation and in between some system failure occurs in that case transaction will be half of the operations of the transaction will be executed and the remaining half are still to be executed right so in this case this is a case of failure and in this case we should have a mechanism to do recovery right fine and this is the responsibility of recovery manager of course we know right now this recovery is generally done with the help of log files okay so if you have mysql installed you can go to the mysql directory okay and there you can find out log files which is generated for each transaction so first let's understand what are the reasons of transaction failure so generally transaction failures have the following reasons the first one is that system failure or system crash system failure means during the transaction at certain point the system or the computer fails due to n number of reasons maybe it is a power failure maybe it is a, a network failure or maybe it is a uh, some internal errors okay so due to n number of reasons a system fails okay and that causes transaction failure too right now next can be transaction or system error so these failures are basically like let's say during the transaction the system executes expression where expression is there which is like something divided by zero okay so this will cause a transaction failure similarly let's say i'm storing a value in integer and it has of course a range to store right so when this range overflows like the value is larger than the range provided okay this will also cause a failure so similar problems can occur similarly a programmer uh, has done the programming and that program is program is not well tested and during the execution it causes a logical programming failure okay so these are the kind of errors which comes under this transaction or system er error and this transaction and system error can cause transaction failure third reason can be concurrency control enforcement so as we have already understood what is concurrency control okay so basically multiple transactions are happening over a say over a database okay and then we need to con control the concurrency or concurrent execution for n number of reasons which we have already studied okay so this concurrency control may sometime cause the failure of a transaction okay so let's imagine a situation when this transaction is in between right multiple transaction are executing okay and there is a situation where uh, let's say t1 t2 t3 okay multiple transactions are executing together and now these transactions has also caused 
the situation of deadlock okay now if there is a deadlock one of the transaction has to be aborted okay so system forcefully aborts the transaction okay this of course causes the transaction failure for the aborted transaction let's say i abort this transaction to break the deadlock okay then this transaction is failed right the next is local error or exceptions during the transaction okay so let's say when transaction begins everything was perfectly fine now in between when operations of the transaction were executing okay the system realizes an exception in that case the transaction will be aborted and this the reason will be called local error or exceptions so this we can understand well with let's say in my account i have 1000 rupees balance okay now i initiated transaction for 800 rupees okay so now transaction is initiated now i am going to withdraw 800 rupees so transaction is initiated by checking whether i have enough balance okay so initially it will check whether i have enough balance so it is yes it is greater than 800 so i can withdraw while executing i did another transaction with some other means of transaction let's say through atm and now my balance is 800 uh, let's say 200 okay now when the balance is 200 and i am trying to withdraw a amount of 800 of course this will throw an error right so this kind of error comes under local error or exception okay so these four are the main reasons and these are well recoverable okay we can recover these errors but we also have something called hard disk failure quite often we we realize that when we turn on our system our computer the computer boots properly but i mean when it starts booting of course it is not able to load the operating system to ram okay and a error comes in the blue screen if you are uh, using a windows system the error will comes showing that disk error right so this disk error means that the system is not able to read the disk properly okay so this disk has failed and it it is not working properly of course in our case also it ends up with buying a new disk okay replacing our hard disk so similar failure can occur with the database management system where i mean with the system where this database management system is running right so everything is ultimately written to the disk and if the disk is gone everything is gone right so this is basically a major problem okay so this is a major problem now in this case if you don't have any backup it is very hard to recover right so in that case maybe this hard disk itself has to be recovered and then you can recover the data out of it so that's why i'm saying it is very hard to recover okay in other cases the system is well capable of fetching the data from this log file and doing a recovery similarly we can also have a let me write down similarly we can also have physical problem and catastrophes so let's say a uh, the whole system is destroyed due to some external uh, issue uh, like earthquake or flood so these are also issues which can cause transaction failure of course right and in this case also it is very hard to do recovery right so this is again very hard okay this one also very hard to recover so these two are very hard to recover hard recovery okay and these are basically easy to recover right so as i have mentioned earlier like the system maintains a log file okay log file you can access this under your mysql installation if you are using mysql okay so you can get log file inside mysql installation directory and inside this log file we have logs for all the transactions made by database management system okay so in case of the first four failure which we have just studied this log file will be our savior okay so using this log file we can run a recovery right as in next two cases this log file itself is in danger because the hard disk is in danger okay so then in that case recovery is difficult right so if you want to know more about the log file 
in log file we write details of each transaction okay and we assign transaction id transaction id to each transaction fine so these are the items of transaction record okay or the log so the first one is start transaction tid okay so it shows that transaction with this transaction id has been started okay now write item tid x old value new new value means transaction tid okay writes an item database item x where the old value is this and new value is this okay let me repeat transaction tid writes over or writes a data item x where the old value is this and new value is this fine now this is read item of course this transaction tid that is this transaction reads reads a data item or database item x okay now this is all about transaction so when the transaction is done it has to be committed so this entity or record says transaction this that is this transaction has been committed okay and if a transaction is aborted we also maintain the record for this okay and it says this this record it says this transaction has been aborted okay so if you open your log files you can see entries like this okay that of course can vary with the data database management system you are using but it will be more or less like this okay so this is all about transaction failure recovery and the log files okay so transaction failures are obvious in database management system it may happen okay so we should have a well recovery procedure well recovery uh, mechanism okay and for that one of the thing which we use is log files okay and this log files are stored in your disk that's why if a crash or if a problem occurs with the disk then the recovery becomes hard okay so hope you understand this thanks for watching